All right, the big news today, uh, Ruby Frankie pleading guilty to four charges of aggravated child abuse inside a St. George courtroom this afternoon. And we have team coverage for you tonight. Brian Schnee is outside the courthouse in St. George. Amanda Gilbert is in Hurricane at the Washington County Jail. Yeah, we do want to begin with Jake Taylor on the live desk, though, with more on some of the disturbing details that were revealed as part of this plea agreement today. Jake? Yeah, first off, I want to start with a warning. The details are disturbing. They can be hard to hear. In her plea, she admits to abuse, like forcing her son and daughter to stand outside for days, resulting in horrific sunburns, also kicking them with boots, holding their heads under water as they struggle to breathe. So why did this happen? In the documents, she says she tried to convince the children they were, quote, evil and possessed. Her 11-year-old son told that, quote, everything was done to him were acts of love. Her nine-year-old daughter given the same message, and it seems the girl believed what her mother said about her. The plea agreement saying she was, quote, convinced she was evil and needed to go through these things in order to repent. The results of all of this, quote, severe emotional harm to both of those children. And right now, we certainly hope these children are getting the safety and the love that they truly deserve. Now, there's a lot more in these documents. You can read them in their entirety at KUTV.com. At the live desk, Jake Taylor. Jake, thank you very much. Two News was in the courtroom when uh, Frankie pleaded guilty today. Brian Schnee joins us live outside the 5th District Courthouse in St. George. And Brian, what did we learn? Well, Mark and Mallory, fortunately, nobody read those counts out and the details that Jake just described, which is why the court hearing itself took less than 10 minutes. Amanda Gilbert was sitting next to me in the courtroom today. She's over at the Purgatory Correctional Facility in Hurricane with more about what took place today in that courtroom and who is there in terms of her family. Yeah, Brian, Ruby Frankie is here at the correctional facility tonight. She rose to fame for her YouTube channel, Eight Passengers. Now she will be going to prison for pleading guilty. And to count six, aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony. With my deepest regret and sorrow for my family and my children, guilty. That is what Ruby Frankie said as she pled guilty to abusing her children. She entered the courtroom, giving her parents and sister a smile. Then she answered the judge's questions about the plea agreement before pleading guilty. Ms. Frankie, is anyone pressuring you to enter into this agreement? No. That you understand what you've read and that you agree to all of the terms. Is that all accurate? Yes. A 10-page document details what her children went through, claims of both physical and psychological torture. Washington County Attorney Eric Clark. We are pleased that Mrs. Frankie has accepted responsibility for her criminal actions and that justice is being served. The hearing only lasted between 5 to 10 minutes. It was quiet, mainly just media and family were there. Frankie's family entered and left court together. They did not comment before or after the hearing. Ms. Frankie, how do you plead to count one aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? Guilty. Yeah, it was actually not a packed courtroom, and a lot of what happened today was more of a formality. What happened was already talked about, discussed, and decided on. The big question, how long will Frankie be in prison? That we do not know yet. Reporting live in Hurricane, Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.